Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can hide fields in a SharePoint list or SharePoint document library based on conditional formula. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So here I have a document library uh, with a few documents and I have two metadata columns, a status column and an expiration date. The status column has active and inactive and then expiration date that's just a date field. Now, uh, at the moment, when users uh, fill in the metadata, uh, when they uh, choose the uh, status, for example, right, whether they, it's active or inactive, uh, expiration date always appears as a piece of metadata. What I would like to do is the following. I do not want this expiration date column to appear unless the status is active. So if I mark the uh, document as active, then expiration date column will uh, pop up, you know, prompting me to fill out uh, the date, uh, expiration date. If I mark it inactive, expiration date should disappear. Obviously, it does appear at the moment, but I would like it to disappear if the status is inactive. So let me show you how to do that. So uh, what you need to do in order for that to happen, we need to go kind of uh, behind the scenes. Uh, to achieve this, click um, uh, on any of the files, click this little I panel in the upper right hand corner, the document information panel, and then click edit all. And uh, what will happen is this form will pop up and uh, over here under edit forms, you can say edit columns. Uh, this is actually the same area where you can, um, you can uh, move or uh, you know, or uh, hide certain uh, columns from appearing on the form. So for example, this audience column, you know what? I don't want that. Uh, here we go, I just made it disappear. Um, I also would like expiration date a column to disappear, but remember, I, I only want it to disappear when uh, the status is uh, inactive. When it's active, uh, it does need to appear. So how do we make it happen? From here, again, you click uh, edit columns. And then next to the column, uh, you know, next to the column that you want to appear uh, or disappear, uh, be hidden or not, you click three dots and say added conditional formula. Right here. And this is where you need to type in the formula. Now, there is a specific syntax uh, that you have to use with the formula. Uh, it's going to be uh, extremely hard for me to explain you. Uh, all the nuances of the formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, include the link to the blog post where you can find all, of all the notes uh, and all the information necessary for you to put the formula together. Uh, but right here, this is what the formula looks like. Uh, all right, and this is the uh, formula that needs to be pasted into our uh, field, formula field over here. Uh, essentially, let me just copy it first. I'll just paste it in here. Essentially, what it says that if the status is active, uh, you know, then uh, true obviously may, will make this field appear. False will uh, make it uh, disappear. It will be hidden. Uh, and again, you know, there is specific uh, syntax that you need to follow with um, certain signs, etc. Uh, and like I said, I will include the link to the blog post, which will explain uh all the nuances you need to be aware of so you just uh, type in the formula click save what will happen is this field will kind of become uh, grayed out all right it's still there but uh grayed out means that there was a conditional formula set on this uh on this field click save and let's go and uh, test it out now so i'm going to pick on this document i'm going to mark this status as active so here we go. And look at this. Uh, so the, at the moment, it's not tagged with any statuses. Expiration date column is not even here, you see? Uh, and uh, pay attention to what will happen over here when I change it to active. Look at this, expiration column now does appear. I can fill it in. Here we go, perfect. And then if I make it inactive, look at this, expiration column does disappear. So again, it, it pretty much it works, right? Yeah, it works. So uh, what we just did, we set up a conditional uh, formula on on this particular column, where we said that 
if the status is inactive, then make this column disappear. Uh, and if the status is active, it will appear. Now, um, um, just to let you know, and hopefully this is obvious, uh, it does make the um, uh, the value disappear from uh, from uh, the the input form, uh, but it does not. You know, it, it, the column will not disappear from the from the view, right? If you don't want this column in this particular view, then you pretty much need to show hide columns and you know uncheck the box next to the column. Uh, this particular trick about the conditional formula is only for the input form, uh, you know, is only for the, um, you know, for the times when you input the uh, the data uh, into the library. And by the way, uh, this, tri this trick right here, I showed it to you in the context of a document library. It also works on uh, any SharePoint list as well. So whether you have a SharePoint list, a custom list, uh, a document library for documents with metadata, you can use this conditional formula trick. That's all I wanted to show you today. Uh, hopefully, you learned something new. Uh, really, uh, a, ni in my, a nice trick, in my opinion. Nice cool trick we now uh, can do in SharePoint. And as always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.